Dear viewers, this video is part one of the two-part series on the anemias in the Medicine for Anyone YouTube channel. Anemias. Anemia means deficiency of hemoglobin in the blood, which can be caused by too few RBCs or too little hemoglobin in the red blood cells. Blood loss anemia. After rapid hemorrhage, the body replaces the fluid portion of the plasma in one to three days, but this response results in a low concentration of RBCs. If a second hemorrhage does not occur, the RBCs concentration usually returns to normal within three to six weeks. When chronic blood loss occurs, a person frequently cannot absorb enough iron from the intestines to form hemoglobin as rapidly as it is lost. RBCs that are much smaller than normal and have too little hemoglobin inside them are then produced, giving rise to microcytic hypochromic anemia. RBCs are smaller and their hemoglobin content is lesser than normal. Dear listeners, by the way, this educational video is made possible by Prescribon, the makers of e-prescription software for digital prescriptions available freely for doctors on the website www.prescribon.com. Doctors who are interested in this e-prescription can freely avail of its vast collection of more than 100,000 e-prescriptions. Iron Deficiency Anemia Iron Metabolism The normal daily diet contains 10 to 20 mg iron. The total quantity of iron in the body 4 to 5 grams, 65 percent of which is in the form of hemoglobin, 4 percent as myoglobin, 1 percent is in the form of the various heme compounds that promote intracellular oxidation. 0.1% is combined with the protein transferring in the blood plasma. 15 to 30% stored for later use, mainly in the reticuloendothelial system and liver parenchyma cells, principally in the form of ferritin. Storage and transport of iron. When iron is absorbed from the small intestine, it immediately combines in the blood plasma with a beta globulin apotransferrin to form transferrin which is then transported in the plasma. The iron is loosely bound in the transferrin and consequently can be released to any tissue cell at any point in the body. Excess iron in the blood is deposited especially in the liver hepatocytes and less in the reticuloendothelial cells of the bone marrow. In the cell cytoplasm, iron combines mainly with a protein apoferritin to form ferritin. Ferritin may contain only a small or a large amount of iron. This iron stored as ferritin is called storage iron. Smaller quantities of the iron in the storage pool are in an extremely insoluble form called hemosiderin. This is especially true when the total quantity of iron in the body is more than the upper ferritin storage pool which can accommodate the iron. Hemosiderin collects in cells in the form of large stores that can be observed microscopically as large particles. In contrast, ferritin particles are so small and dispersed that they usually can be seen in the cell cytoplasm only with an electron microscope. Note, an electron microscope uses electrons instead of visible light that is photon particles as in ordinary microscope. Hence, much smaller objects can be seen better with electron microscope. Resolution power, light microscope 1000 times magnification, electron microscope 100,000 times magnification. When the quantity of iron in the plasma falls low, some of the iron in the form of ferritin in the storage pool is removed easily and transported in the form of 
transferring in the plasma to the areas of the body where it is needed. A unique characteristic of the transferring molecule is that it binds strongly with receptors in the cell membranes of erythroblasts in the bone marrow. When RBCs have lived their lifespan of about 120 days and are destroyed, the hemoglobin released from the cells is ingested by monocyte macrophage cells. There, iron is liberated and is stored mainly in the ferritin pool to be used as needed for the formation of new hemoglobin. Daily loss of iron. An average man excretes about 0.6 mg of iron each day, mainly into the feces. Additional quantities of iron are lost when bleeding occurs. For a woman, additional menstrual loss of blood brings long-term iron loss to an average of about 1.3 mg per day. Absorption of iron from the intestinal tract. Iron is absorbed from all parts of the small intestine. The liver secretes moderate amounts of upper transferring into the bile, which flows through the bile duct into the duodenum. Here, the upper transferring binds with free iron and also with certain iron compounds such as hemoglobin and myoglobin from meat, two of the most important sources of iron in the diet. This combination is called transferring. Other vegetarian sources of iron are whole grain, oats and quinoa, vegetable, leafy greens, tomato, potato, mushroom and broccoli, legumes, pulses, lentils, peas and kidney beans, fruits, olive and mulberries, nuts and seeds, pumpkin, sisian, flax seeds. Transferring binds with receptors in the intestinal epithelial cells. Then the transferring molecule is absorbed into the epithelial cells and later released into the blood capillaries beneath the cells in the form of plasma transfer. Iron absorption from the intestines is extremely slow at a maximum rate of only a few milligrams per day. This slow rate of absorption means that even when tremendous quantities of iron are present in the food, only small portions are, can be absorbed. Revelation of total body iron by controlling absorption rate. When the body becomes saturated with iron, so that essentially all apophyrtin in the iron storage areas is already combined with iron, Additional iron absorption from the intestinal tract decreases. Conversely, when the iron stores become depleted, the rate of absorption can probably accelerate 5 or more times normal. Thus, total body iron is regulated mainly by altering the rate of absorption. Iron is transported in plasma by an iron binding protein called transferrin, which is synthesized by the liver. In normal individuals, transferrin is about one-third saturated with iron, yielding serum iron levels that average 120 microgram per deciliter in men and 100 microgram per deciliter in women. The major function of plasma transferrin is to deliver iron to cells, including erythroid precursors, which require iron to synthesize hemoglobin. Erythroid precursors possess high affinity receptors for transfer. Free iron is highly toxic and storage iron must therefore be sequestered. This is achieved by the binding of storage iron to, the, to either ferritin or hemocytin. Ferritin is a ubiquitous protein iron complex that is found at highest levels in the liver, spleen, bone marrow, and skeletal muscles. In the liver, most ferritin is stored within the parenchymal cells. In other tissues, such as the spleen and the bone marrow, it is found mainly in the macrophages. Hepatocyte iron derived from plasma transfer, whereas storage iron in macrophages is derived from the breakdown of red blood cells. In iron deficiency, serum ferritin is below 12 microgram per liter, whereas in iron overload values approaching 5000 microgram per liter 
PDC. Iron balance is maintained by regulating the absorption of dietary iron in the proximal duodenum. There is no regulated pathway for iron ex excretion, which is limited to the 1 to 2 mg lost each day through the shedding of mucosal and skin epithelial cells. So, dear viewers, this is the end of part 1 of the two part series on the anemias in the medicine for anyone YouTube channel. Thank you for watching the video.